coming into the games industry, which was uh, 90, about 1992, I, I really was so green. I had no idea what was even involved in making music or sound for computer games, and it was quite a, quite a steep learning curve. You, you literally had a sound card in your PC, and on that sound card was a, was a, was a chip, and um, you had ways of manipulating the, the synth sounds on this chip to create your, the sound set that you would use for your game. So I think we were using a sound system by that time called, called Miles, Miles Sound System. Um, and that allowed you to, as I say, manipulate these sounds on the on the uh, ad lib chip, and uh, and save that sound set out as a whole bank of, of musical instruments, which you could then use in your in your production. And that was that was Syndicate. That was the first game I did. Um, and so I sat down and thought, crumbs, how am I going to do this? This is such a bad a bad sound set of instruments to be using. So you have to be really, really careful about how you design them. You tended to start to sound like everyone else who was out there because we were all stuck with the same the same sound chip. So consequently you had to get to try and be really original in how you how you created your sounds. With Syndicate very early on I decided I'm gonna keep it quite quite low key um, and not sort of blast it with a hundred different instruments, just as simple as I could, but give it an atmosphere of, well, of cyberpunk, which is pretty much what the, what the game is all about, really.